வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு கலி கிளாஸ் ரூம் திஸ் இஸ் த ஃபோர்த் இங்கிலீஷ் லெக்சர் ஆன் த யூனிட் ஆன் த சாப்டர் அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் திஸ் இஸ் த ஃபோர்த் இங்கிலீஷ் லெக்சர் ஆன் த சாப்டர் அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் சிபிஎஸ்இ டென்த் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் இன் ஜியாகிரபி சாப்டர் ஃபார் அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் திஸ் இஸ் யுவர் ஃபோர்த் லெக்சர் சார் வாட் ஆர் வி கோயிங் டு லேர்ன் இன் திஸ் லெக்சர் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லேர்ன் அபவுட் நான் ஃபுட் கிராப்ஸ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லேர்ன் அபவுட் நான் ஃபுட் கிராப்ஸ் in two specific topics we will learn about rubber separately and then we will learn about fiber crops under the topic fiber crops we will study about cotton jute hemp and natural silk under fiber crops we will study about cotton jute hemp and natural silk okay ma let us study about rubber let us study about rubber rubber is an equatorial crop what is the meaning of equatorial crop it needs extreme sunshine and a lot of rain it needs a very good sunshine and also a lot of rain so it is grown in special conditions in tropical and subtropical areas tropical and subtropical areas sir what is india's position in rubber production in the year 2010 to 2011 india was the fourth in the world's natural rubber producers india was fourth in the world's natural rubber producers okay what are the needs of the rubber plant what are the needs of the rubber plant rubber needs a lot of rain and a lot of sunshine sir how much rain does rubber need okay uh, rice needs more than 100 cm rain per year does rubber need more than that yes rubber needs more than 200 cm rain annually rubber needs more than 200 cm rain annually also rubber uh, the temperature needed by rubber is greater than 25 degree centigrade it needs a moist and a humid climate rubber needs a moist and a humid climate okay also rubber is a very important industrial raw material we are using rubber in so many places from tires on vehicles to the rubber that we are using to uh, erase pencil writings the, to the rubber we are using to erase pencil writings so rubber is an important industrial raw material sir who are the major producers of rubber in india in india all the southern states kerala karnataka and uh, tamil nadu look at the south kerala karnataka and tamil nadu kerala karnataka and tamil nadu all the southern states are major producers of rubber also andaman and nicobar islands and the garo hills of meghalaya andaman and nicobar islands and garo hills of meghalaya are major rubber producers okay what about fiber crops sir there are two types of fiber crops fiber crops that are derived from plants that are growing on the ground plants that are growing in our soil and there is a type of fiber that we are also obtaining from uh, animals namely silkworm also obtaining from animals namely silkworm so fiber crops can be obtained from crops like cotton jute and hemp fiber crops can be derived from plants like cotton jute and hemp okay now first let us study about cotton sir what is the speciality of cotton with respect to india india is believed to be the original place where cotton was grown the original place the original home of cotton was believed to be india okay it is not was believed it is believed now also it is believed that india is the original home of the cotton plant sir in what position are we with respect to the total cotton production in the world in the year 2008 we were the second largest producers of cotton after china we were the second largest producers of cotton after china what are the needs of cotton sir cotton needs high temperature light rainfall or irrigation high temperature light rainfall or irrigation 210 frost free days and bright sunshine for growth 210 frost free days and bright sunshine for growth what is the meaning of frost free days frost free days means uh, the things should not get frozen together the uh, the crop should not get frozen together that is called as frost free days 
okay also it is a long term crop cotton is a long term crop it needs 6 to 8 months to mature cotton is a long term crop it needs 6 to 8 months to mature okay cotton is the main raw material for obviously cotton textile industry cotton is the main raw material for cotton textile industry so what type of crop is cotton cotton is a carif crop sir how am i going to remember this let me give you an idea we already studied about gk what is gk sir groundnut is a carif crop groundnut is a carif crop okay what about this sir you can study this as ck gk groundnut carif crop ck cotton carif crop ck cotton carif crop sir you already also taught some other thing like mr mister yes mustard rabbi mr mustard rabbi okay it's a rabbi crop let's get back to the topic at hand okay cotton is grown also grown on deccan plateaus where there is black soil uh, the drier parts of Deccan Plateau where there are black soil. In the drier part of Deccan Plateau where there are black soil. Okay, sir. So, where is black soil present? As I have already told you in the last lecture, black soil is present to somewhere around here. Uh, it is present in Gujarat and Maharashtra. It is present in Gujarat and Maharashtra. So, cotton is majorly grown in Gujarat and Maharashtra because black soil is very, very good for cotton cultivation so gujarat maharashtra and what are the other places in which cotton is grown madhya pradesh karnataka andhra pradesh telangana tamil nadu all the southern states uh, tamil nadu kerala andhra pradesh karnataka and telangana all the southern states are growing cotton are growing cotton okay i think i just included uh, kerala other than Kerala, Kerala is not especially growing cotton. Sorry about that. Yeah, cheers. So, all the southern states, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana and Karnataka. All the southern states, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana and Karnataka. Yeah. So, that's basically cotton. So, what about jute? What about jute and hemp? Okay. Here, let us first study about hemp. What is hemp? Uh, both jute and hemp will give the same, more or less the same kind of fiber. Even though they are different plants, they will give the same kind of fiber. In Tamil, the fiber is called as sanal. In, in Tamil, the fiber is called as sanal. Okay, so what is the essential difference? Sir? They are both different kinds of plant. We are not going to study about hemp in detail. But I can tell you a couple of words about hemp. The uh, scientific name of hemp is Cannabis Sataiva. Sir, give me a second. Cannabis Sataiva. I have heard this name somewhere. Sir, isn't this a drug? What wouldn't you call cannabis in Tamil as Ganja? Yes. Cannabis Sataiva is also used as a drug. But certain varieties of cannabis Sataiva gives us industrial hemp. Gives us a lot of fiber. Industrial hemp gives us a lot of fiber. In fact, Hemp is believed to be one of the earliest plants from which fiber was made. But anyway, we are not going to concentrate on hemp. So we are going to put the topic aside and let us study about the other topic jute, which is otherwise called as golden fiber. It is called as golden. Uh, literally, it will be shining, right? So it is called as golden fiber. Okay. So nowadays, the market of golden fiber is slowly losing its hold it is losing its market golden fiber or jute is losing its market to synthetic fibers especially nylon why sir due to its high cost due to the high cost of jute it is slowly losing its market to synthetic fibers such as nylon what are the growing needs of jute jute needs well-drained fertile soil. We have already seen what is well-drained. There should not be any standing water. That is called as well-drained. So, the needs of juta, growing needs of juta, well-drained fertile soil and also it glow, grows well in floodplains where the soil is renewed every year. In floodplains, there will be annual floods every year. The river will get flooded. During that time, the river will bring a lot of fertile soil and put it in its bank. This is called as uh, 
the flood plains where the soil is renewed annually the soil is renewed every year also jute needs high temperature during its time of growth during growth it needs very high temperature sir what is jute being used to for it is being used to for making so many artifacts like gunny bags mats ropes yarn and carpet gunny bags mats ropes yarn and carpet who are the major producers of jute sir who are the major producers of jute jute in majority is produced by west bengal let me connect another unit with this unit namely manufacturing industries there is another question in manufacturing industries where they will ask why are jute industries concentrated on the banks of hooghly river why are jute industries concentrated on the banks of hooghly river hooghly river is obviously present in for the major part of hooghly river is present in west bengal okay it is there because uh, jute processing plants need a lot of water also transportation via the river is very very easy uh, it, there are a lot of cheap labor available around that part so these are the reasonings given for why are uh, jute industries concentrated on hooghly river here jute major producers of jute is also west bengal one of the major producers of jute is also west bengal so are you able to connect that particular unit with this particular unit manufacturing industries with agriculture yeah okay so major jute producers are west bengal bihar assam odisha and meghalaya west bengal bihar assam odisha and meghalaya okay sir what about natural silk natural silk is produced from the cocoons of the uh, silk worm which are fed green leaves especially mulberry leaves uh, they will boil the cocoons and they will extract the silk from that part boiled cocoons this is called as sericulture this is called as sericulture rearing of the silk worms for the production of silk is called as sericulture rearing of silk worms for the production of silk is called as sericulture yeah that more or less completes our lecture let us look at the most important topic in this particular lecture that you need to concentrate on you need to concentrate on cotton study the growing needs of cotton give importance to it also remember that cotton is a kharif crop ckgk so remember that cotton is a kharif crop uh, yeah that also uh, one of the most important one marks jute is also called as golden fiber jute is also called as golden fiber what are the other important one marks that we can find here yeah yeah that's more or less our lecture that's more or less the end of our lecture hope you yeah uh, kindly kindly i'm repeating it once more study cotton's growing needs especially the word 210 frost to free days and bright sunshine for growth 210 frost to free days and bright sunshine for growth yeah cheers and thank you if you like our lecture do hit the uh, like icon what else uh, subscribe to us click the bell icon for constant updates yeah so recommend our channel to your friends cheers and thank you thank you for listening to me yeah hope to meet you guys in the next lecture thank you can i hope to meet you guys in the next lecture cheers cheers thank you thank you